Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to take a look at how to create 2D templates for the 3D low poly paper craft model. To create a low poly 2D template the first thing that you need is a 3D equivalent of that 2D template that is how the model is actually going to look like after you have assembled it. There are a lot of websites that provide free 3D models or you can create your own 3D model in softwares like Blender. So one such website is turbosquid.com. This is one of my favorite websites as it provides a lot of free 3D models. One of my most favorite 3D model is Heart Template. So let's see a Heart 3D model. Since I'm looking for free models, I will select free here. And in the poly count, I will select low poly. And in the formats, I will select .obj format. .obj format is one of the best formats if you want to unfold your 3d models into a 2d template they work the best in the software that i'm going to tell you about so select your template you can view how it looks from different angles if you're happy with it download it will show in your account and from there you can download the obj file i have already downloaded it and i'll use this file to unfold the 3d object model into a 2d template to Unfold the model you need software there are a lot of softwares out there but there is only one software which is dedicated only to unfolding that software is called Pepacura software and you can download the software from this website and you can purchase the key to use all the features of the software once you have downloaded and installed the software you will find two icons on your desktop one for designer and one for viewer so open the designer software please note that this software only works in windows platform it does not work in mac platform once you'll open the software there are two sections to it this is your canvas where you are actually going to see the pieces for your 2d template and this is the section where you see the 3d model side by side to load the 3d model there are two ways you can go to file and you can open or you can import and the easiest way is drag and drop the 3d model here once you drop the 3d object file the first thing it does is check for any surfaces uh, polygons vertices edges it can merge together to simplify the model and that's the information that you see here click ok next it will ask whether you want to flip or you don't want to flip click no flip and then it will ask you what is the front of your model what is the bottom of your model it has chosen correctly this is the front side so I don't want to change the front side so I'll click next similarly it is choosing the bottom side correctly so that's next next it will ask whether you want to invert or not don't invert the model and click on no invert and finish then it will tell you what was the actual height width and depth the three dimensions of the 3d object it's not necessary that you have to keep it like this because currently if I will build my low poly paper model by these dimensions it's going to be six and a half centimeter in height which is pretty less so let's make it 15 centimeter in height so I'm going to make it 150 and you only need to change one of the parameters the other parameters will automatically change click OK and that's your 3d model to see the different sides of the 3d model right click keep it pressed and then you can rotate the model and see it from different angles if you want to zoom in and zoom out you can use your mouse wheel scroll wheel or you can do a two finger zoom in and zoom out on your trackpad now there are two ways in which you can go about unfolding it one is let the software do its own stuff and then correct it a little bit and the second is you decide in how many parts you want to break the model the second one requires a little experience but for now let's the software do its thing and click on unfold what unfold is going to do is that it is going to flatten this 3d heart and it has done it now you can see this canvas is divided into four sections that means these are four a4 size papers this one section is one a4 size paper so if i will print it right now then this one big single piece is going to get divided into different paper which is not a good sign one piece of your template cannot get printed onto two paper so what we'll need to do is we'll need to break this apart here also you can zoom in and zoom out by using your two finger scroll there is a very simple rule to break the piece apart you are seeing these glue flaps these white portions these are the ones which you will fold 
and apply glue on to stick to the other edge a very simple rule is that the glue flaps should not be hidden and this will make your life much easier reason why i'm saying this is if you see this glue flap this one is so tiny if i print it just like it is then i will only get this much tiny white area to apply the glue as opposed to this much big white area where i can apply the glue so i need to break this apart in such a manner so that all the glue flaps are clearly visible so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select from this menu here join disjoin faces what it will do is it will help you break this one giant piece apart click on it now you are in the join disjoin mode if you see red line that means it will create a break here if you see green line that means it will join these two edges together and alter your piece so i'll break here now by breaking it here i can clearly see all the flaps now that we have broken it it's time to arrange we don't want to waste paper and we want to properly arrange the pieces in such a way that the space is utilized optimally so go back to select and move icon click on it and let's start arranging the pieces so this is okay do not go outside the dotted lines because if you will go outside the dotted line it's going to get cut during the print out it's always good to maintain a little bit of distance if you want to rotate a piece select it and using this green handle and slightly rotate it keeping your left key, mouse key pressed also whenever you will select a piece you will see that it gets selected on your 3d model also you can see here so you will know what part of the 3d model you are currently working with on your canvas and it's good to know it also helps you to sequentially organize your pieces so if i'll start with this piece my next piece should be this so if you'll select it here it will get selected there so if i give it number 1 this will become number 2 So as I was saying you can give numbers to your pieces. So let's say I want to start building my model from this piece. This is my piece number 1. So what I want to do is that I want to give it number 1. Click on this input text icon and click on the piece where you want to provide the number. Uh, the font size let's make it 14 or 16 p1. click okay and that's my piece number 1 now you only need to do this once for next time you can simply duplicate it now if this is piece number 1 the next piece i would ideally like to do is this piece or this piece either one will work so let's see which piece has been selected on my system so that's piece number 2 so what you can do is you can right click on this text select duplicate Drag this one here. Click at it and make it P2. Or you can input fresh text like we did before. And so on. And that's how you can provide uh, part numbers to your pieces. So the user who is using this template will know in which order to stick the pieces. And it, that's a good thing to do. A lot of templates out there do not have this numbering. and i created an elephant with a template which did not have this numbering it was a real challenge for me to figure out which next piece to join because the only clue for me was the edge ids now that's the next thing that you need to do right now your edges do not have any numbers so user will not know which two edges to stick together so what we need to do is we need to give them edge ids or id numbers go to 2d menu and click on show edge id and now all the edges have numbers so in short that's how you can create a 2d template for your 3d model and the last thing left is creating a pdf file for this template so go to file 
select print to pdf give it a name and save and just to wrap up this video let me show you how that pdf was and that's how your pdf is going to look like you will see all the edge numbers are there obviously i have not put all the part numbers you will need to put all the part numbers the one that you like see here i hope you enjoyed the video obviously you will need to purchase the software it's very cheap it's just like 36 or 38 dollars it's not much and it's a one time purchase lifetime license so you can like use it as many times as you like i will go into more depth about this software in later videos if you liked it do not forget to share it with your friends hit the like button do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions related to this software on how to do it how to use it do not hesitate to approach me i will answer all your questions i will see you very soon in my next video till then take care stay safe and bye bye